Hey guys, Lieutenant Dan here with an update on my painted pieces for UK. So I uh, got done um, last week or so and um, really happy with uh, how they all turned out. So let's uh, take a look at what, what we got here. So uh, first off I got over here is um, I bought a piece from uh, Shapeways. This is the, the Nelson battleship. Really like all the details that are shown on here. And then here is a uh, out of the box. Um, this one actually I got from a 1941 game. I bought as um, a way to get a bunch of uh, out of the box pieces. Um, so it's just uh, one that, that came with that uh, with that set. All right, and then uh, same with the 1941 version is this uh, transport. Looks really good. Colors I used, um, I, you know, I did that flat gray primer, and then the color is called lemongrass, and then I have weathered all these with that uh, dark tone quick shade by the Army Painter. Here is the um, outbox sub. And then this one came from um, 1941. And here's the outbox cruiser. See, this is another uh, battleship I bought uh, from Shapeways. This was the King George V. So I like, a, like all that detail there. And let's see, then uh, the aircraft carriers, I uh, got two of them. One is, this one's from HBG. This is the, the Malta. And um, I magnetize all my carriers um, to have three magnets uh, in case somebody wants to do super carriers. And so um, the first, uh, or this uh, fighter that you see over here is a swordfish. I bought that from HBG as well. And you can start seeing that I've added the decals for the aircraft to bring out subtle details that I really like. This is the Barracuda. It's a tack bomber. I got that from HPG. Really like this uh, the uh, the Malta aircraft carrier though. It has a lot of nice details on it. All right, what else do we got here? Um, this aircraft carrier was. I bought from uh, Shapeways, and it is the illustrious. And then over here we have the infantry out of the box. And then we have the anti-aircraft. Um, I think I. I did get this from HPG. Um, I had the old uh, cardboard um, aircraft, so I had to go, I had to get rid of those things. Here is the, that's a, what the, is that a 15 pounder or something? Um, I got this from HPG. You see I paint a little bit on the, uh, the tires to kind of bring out a little bit of detail. All right, um, what else did I get here? 
There's a HPG. Uh, I'm not sure the name of this, but uh, I use it for the mech. I like how the detail of the tracks there. Paint up the top. And then we have the, it's the Matilda tank. And then I put the decal on there. And we have the um, out of the box mech, which is really used on a lot of the allies. Um, I'm only using it for the UK and uh, Canada. Um, I bought some pretty cool ones for the US, so I didn't want to have these everywhere. And then the last are the aircraft. So here is uh, the out of the box uh, TAC bomber. Just put the Nice roundels for on the wings there. Like how it came out though. And then we have the bomber. And uh, added the decals on the side of the fuselage and the wing. And then the last but not least on my scramble base, I got. Uh, Got three Spitfires on here, or actually two Spitfires. Uh, on the left and the right are the Spitfires, which are out of the box. And then the uh, the one in the center there is a, a P-40. And I bought those for, well, one for China and uh, UK and the US. And then I have painted them accordingly. I haven't done the mouth yet. I'm still thinking about the best way to do that, but I did uh, paint up the nose there just to kind of add a little bit. All right, guys, well, I think that's it. Stay tuned for more painted pieces coming in the near future. Until then, take care.